Devastation has plagued Northern California in numerous counties after the deadliest wildfires in state history destroyed over 200,000 acres. And with thousands of firefighters still trying to contain the North Bay wildfires, the strong winds have brought smoke and ash down onto UC Berkeley's campus. My eyes also water and like, I sometimes had difficulty breathing like when I'm walking long distances and it just makes me worry for people who are like in worse respiratory health, so yeah. This mask right here is an N95 mask, a mask that has been approved to prevent smoke particles from entering lungs. Some students are not pleased with how the administration is dealing with preventative causes in order to help students' health. Um, <clears throat> so basically most surgical masks and such don't block against the type of particulate matter that's like floating above the air right now. They help a lot by like making sure that these things don't get lodged in our lungs and make everybody cough like it has been. Yeah. Um, well, I have chronic asthma, so it's not too good. Yesterday I missed like a few meetings because I like my health was bad and so I decided to stay indoors. And I know a lot of schools are closed. Berkeley has decided not to close, so I think that's affecting other students with like chronic health problems or asthma. While North Bay residents have been left in despair, UC Berkeley students from this region have also been directly affected by these destructive fires. Um, I think as of now, everyone's scared because they just really don't know. Like, I mean, there's so many unanswered questions because it's something you can't really stop. Um, with the way it's been sounding right now and just like updates on Twitter, um, it really doesn't seem like they have it too contained. So you just like, for me, because I live close to the area, you just hope it doesn't spread to areas where you have family. I'm Blake Johnson. I'm Robert Tuke. Signing off for Cal TV.